If you're looking to add extra functionality to your app, the plugin marketplace is a great way to do so. Here in this editor, I'm opening up the plugin window so that I can search through plugins and we can filter by pricing. So you've got two options, free versus premium. With free plugins, you can install them and start using them right away. If it's not the right plugin for you, you can uninstall it. The premium plugins give you two different options for payment. You can either make a one-time payment or you can put the plugin on a subscription. Some plugins are only gonna offer one, some may give you the option. So what's the difference between free and paid plugins aside from how you access them? Well, paid plugins are premium for a reason. Typically, they're gonna be more feature rich. They'll be more complete in terms of their documentation and instructions on how to set them up and how to work with them. And a lot of times more active support from the plugin publisher themselves. So you can expect for them to be more reliable overall. Here's an example of a premium plugin. This is one where they're offered at a subscription, uh, in a subscription model or a one-time payment. And looking through the detail page of this plugin, you can see that there's you know, links to a demo application where you can see it in action before you even commit to installing it in your own app. There's a link to a support thread about this and very clear instructions on how to set it up. This is one where I would feel really comfortable moving forward with if this was something that I wanted for my application because I can see that the publisher has put in a lot of attention to detail to make sure that it works really well um, and that you know users of this plugin aren't gonna run into any issues. With that said, this doesn't mean that free plugins aren't reliable. There are tons of amazing free plugins out there that have worked perfectly and have for years. In fact, the vast majority of plugins that we use on a daily basis and recommend our own clients use in their apps are the free ones. And what we have typically found is that the free plugins are usually lighter weight tools, whereas the premium plugins have more going on. Uh, you know, they may have required much more energy and effort for the publisher to put together. So it justifies that, you know, paywall in order to support it long term, be able to make more frequent updates and improvements to it, respond to active users, things like that. But you're going to find things on all ends of the spectrum. You may find that there's a premium plugin that doesn't have a lot of great documentation or that the free version of some capability is actually the better option compared to a paid alternative. Um, you're also going to find situations like this. We're going to search for an example here where the publisher puts out um, a free plugin with a certain amount of capability and then a paid version of that same capability with some extra features. So if you evaluate this on a plugin by plugin basis, you're going to make a better decision for your application. You know, you may not need all of those extra features and that free version may be the better fit for you. If you're looking to keep your development costs down, start with the free plugins. It costs you nothing to install them into your application and try them out. If it doesn't work out, you can always uninstall it. Just know that with free plugins, you may not have as much support options if you run into an issue with them. Some plugins also don't have a lot of documentation, so you're kind of on your own in terms of figuring out how to put them together. Whereas with paid plugins, there's this expectation that they're going to be much better maintained, they're going to be more reliable. So if it's in your budget, it could be a much better investment for you long term.